Hello and welcome back to the internet's best podcast in the world. I gotta say, Damn right. the, uh, the Yes Hit Show uh, podcast. You know, I'm love your, us, uh... love us hard. <laughs> I'm uh, one of your hosts, uh, Bob Zombie, uh, and joined with me always is uh... Zero. Let's do oh, this. Yeah, How's it buddy? going? So yeah, we got a new a little bit of a new format today. Got rid of the space theme and the uh, space background. I got some uh, got some hardwood. What do you think of my hardwood, Andrew? Always appreciate it, Bobby. So does my fiance. You know, you always bring that up in the worst times. What? My hardwood? There's, there's always. <laughs> there's never a bad time for some hardwood. Jesus Christ. Have mercy on my soul. I could think of a few. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Funerals, mom's birthday. I mean, <laughs> mom's got lo- need loving too. Your mom? Just saying, mom. <laughs> I'd say it was my wood. Just saying, hardwood in general. All right. Damn it! And hey, man, like, if Grandpa dies with a stiffy, you know, <laughs> that he went do? out on Vi- Viagra. Okay, he That's OD'd it. on Viagra. OD'd on Viagra. That's gotta suck. Because you know what they do. They you know what they do when uh when you die with a stiffy, right? No, I don't. They have to, like, prep you for, like, the viewing, so they just break it off. <laughs> what? Really? Yeah, they're not going to just fucking have you uh, open casket where you fucking a hard fucking as wood, you know what I mean? Tie it down. Don't rip it off. No, it's, like, so stiff, they can't. It's, like, <laughs> it's like permanently stiff forever. So what do they do? Like, stuff it in your sock? Like, they just bury you without it? I don't know. I think if it's, like, a girl or a, maybe a gay mortician, they just take it home and use it a couple times and then toss it. <laughs> One for the road, rots. buddy. One for the road. Yeah, that's it. I think you could still have a, um ejaculation after death for, like, so many days. Get the fuck. You got it. No. Yeah. No happened, way. It happened in that movie Clerks. Yeah, that's that makes it true. It happened in a movie. That's it. I don't think Why Clerks they is a lie? documentary. I mean, we all have cell phones. I mean, let me just Google it. Yes. Now you must Google. I must Google. The I stars. call bullshit. I call bullshit on after death How orgasms. How long can you have an orgasm after death? Here are some results from a search. You can bring a corpse to orgasm. <laughs> Let's see what this says. Science is made. Um, this goes along with your uh, Resident Evil the theme very well, it? by the way. Where the fuck is it? How often? No. You know, while you're looking, I saw a YouTube video about a, a zombie apocalypse where a dude fell in love with the prettiest zombie and like built her a mouth guard so she like permanently latched on to him uh-huh. but it didn't break skin what what show is this it, uh, some video on youtube i saw oh neat i mean that's cool i would have just knocked the teeth out that's it <laughs> gum jobs for life be a hungry bitch <laughs> come get it <laughs> you said you want brains <laughs> Uh, if you're nice to it, it'll screw you out a little yum yum. Mm. <laughs> little snacky poo mm. for you. Tying protein for your corpse ass. <laughs> uh, I gave up on the search, Andrew. I'm sorry. You gave up on it. Uh, those watching, you, you can look up uh, how, how long you can have an ejaculation after. Uh... Orgasm was the wrong word, right? Ejaculation was the word I'm looking for. Because orgasm, I feel like, is a feeling, right? Yeah. Kind kind of. Kind of. Not an emotional feeling. It's a sensation. Right, right. Um. So, so yeah, I meant, I meant ejaculation. Yes. So, so yeah. hey, folks out there. Oh, there we go. If your husband dies, you can have one for the road and try and have a kid. Ugh. That's what I want to do. Just... just beat me off and take my seed and spread it like the fucking Johnny Appleseed. Uh, oh, I can make more a, me's. Oh, dude, I can make a book out of that. You know what's a weird thought? Hmm. You die, right? Right. Your wife takes one more from you. 
Well, you, she gets pregnant, and you get reincarnated as that baby. I mean, like, if you believe in reincarnation, sure. That would be interesting. They should make a movie about that. There you go. It's like a dog's life, but, like, more incest. Is it, though? If you're, if the, if in the movie you're aware that you're reincarnated and you're sucking on that nipple as a baby, yes. Look who's talking. Maybe that's why incest happens. Da, da, da. You're all just reincarnations and trying to bang the same people over and over. I loved you in this life. I love you in the next one. And then you're born as that person's baby. <laughs> This is a real fucked up conversation. Shit, I made a promise. <laughs> come here, mom wife. <laughs> come here, bitch. I'm getting you. Mom wife, come here. You this tack baby that shit. hits his head. Like, he grows up and hits his head and then just remembers his past life. So like, weird. mom, I used to be inside you. Yeah, honey, that's how you're born. No. no that's not what I mean. I meant I'm dad. <laughs> Stop it right now. Stop it. Then it just turned into a Pornhub video. That's it. A weird one. Oh, man. We can make money right now. Writing scripts for Pornhub, people. There you go. Give us a call. <laughs> That's it. If, we remember, got weird ideas. We have very weird ideas all y'all can jerk off to. Hell yeah. You're welcome. You are very welcome. So on a topic that's not gross, E3's coming up. Uh, looking forward to anything, man? Uh, yeah, Pokemon. Pokemon. Uh, I know Nintendo is supposed to have. I don't know if it's going to be at E3, but it's supposed to have a single release for. From what I was told at GameStop. Did you hear like what they're coming out with for Pokemon? They like announced like three new Pokemon games. Sword and Shield. No, no, no. That's the main line, right? They have. That's some, what I'm worried about. They have some shit. Remember Pokemon Bank? Yeah, the Pokemon Bank is supposed to be able to transfer from the Game Boy to the Switch. Right now. N well, I think they add an on to it or some shit. They have, like, this other Pokemon subscription bullshit that allows you to use, like, any Pokemon game. Like, Pokemon Go and all this other crazy shit to transfer it to Pokemon. Well, I would, that would make sense because they did it for uh, Pokemon Let's Go. I Dude, I don't, I don't know, man. You got you to gotta Google it. They also have, like, another Pokemon Go Pulse Plus bullshit. Like, it, it's like a little disc thing that helps you catch Pokemon in Pokemon Go. They uh, announced Pokemon Sleep, and it's a and it helps you catch your Pokemon while you sleep. And I don't fucking know. Nintendo's insane. I think they just want to make you healthy. That that's a bit much. I'm sorry. I, I was never honestly into the whole Pokemon Go. I didn't even bother getting here's, Electro Pikachu. Here's the problem with Pokemon Go. It would have been awesome had they stuck with the original RPG elements of the game. If, like if you could battle people properly? Yes, if I could battle and trade people properly as well as catch properly, right? I don't want to fucking... I want to level up my Charmander by beating the shit out of other creatures. I don't want to feed the fat fuck. Yeah, I don't want to, like, mince up no. other Charmanders to feed to my Charmander. No, I'm I want to take my Charmander out. I'm never going to find another fucking Charmander. Like, hey, look, it's another fucking Pidgey. Awesome. Yeah, no. Smash. No. See, that's where I just I couldn't I couldn't get down with it. Awesome concept, poorly implemented. However, people went stupid for it. I like uh, in the ads that they had initially put out for it. They had like these glasses. I could have swore I could be wrong, but it looked like you put on glasses and he could see like the battle going he could on. See the Pokemon. Uh, I think they that could was, do that. I think that was when Google Glasses was like coming out, and then it kind of failed because uh, what. I don't know. They could do that. That they, would be They could do awesome. it. But I still wouldn't play it because the mechanics aren't right. No, I'm saying if they did the mechanics right or it was just oh, like, okay. Oh, yeah. If they did the mechanics right, I don't think I need. I would have a need to buy another single-player Pokemon game. I'd, it'd be our lives. Right? Yeah. I just, I wouldn't. Fuck you. Not getting me for $60. I'm just going to keep buying these fucking puffins. <laughs> So, so yeah, the Pokemon is fucking insane as far as, like, what they're, uh, what they're doing. I mean, good for them. I mean, so far I haven't heard any real spoilers for how the gameplay is supposed to be. 
for Sword, Sword and Shield. And shield. I'm okay. assuming it's just like any mainstream Pokemon game. Just, hey, we added a bunch of more shitheads, and uh, you can go catch them. And, uh, yeah, they might do some crazy dimension crap. Like I was going to say, each one it. seems to have like a little gimmick going on. So I don't know what the gimmick is. I know this one's supposed to be in England. Oh, is it? Oh, yes. It, oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense, Sword and Shield. I, I wonder if the... Uh, What's it called? You know how they had, like, emerald and stuff? I wonder if this one's going to be gun. Gun? Pokemon gun. Sword, shield, and gun. Gun. Yep. I don't know. If they're going, very, like, old very, school very, medieval, very... it's probably going to be, like, sword, shield, or bow, or, uh... Lance? Lance. Maybe. Maybe they won't even have a third one. Maybe it'll be just be, like, short, well, they shield, haven't... two. They haven't really had third ones in a little while that I noticed. No. No, I can't wait. The the remake circles going round again, right? Mm -hmm. Just give me heart gold, soul silver again, buddy. Now in my 3D, the best, best, best one. I buy it. I buy it again. I don't know if they're gonna go through that because they're at uh Ruby and Sapphire was the last one. They just redid fucking red and blue again, buddy. They did. It's what Pikachu and Eevee was. Barely. Well, it was so. Na -na 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 -boo -boo. Okay, well, you can enjoy your uh, Pokemon Go version of uh, freaking Gen 3, I all right? Cause, no, I don't want Gen 3. I want Gen 2. Gen 2 is the Oh, best. Gen 2. I'm Gen sorry. Two. Fuck Gen 3. Fuck Trico. Fuck Mudkip. Fuck that other pig bitch. Or whatever the fuck. <laughs> I don't know. Just give me the damn fucking the fire chicken? alligator, god damn it. Fire chicken. Yeah. Fuck that fire chicken. That shit was stupid. The fighting fire chicken. Yep. Yep. Shit was spite. I wonder if pe people... T people definitely eat that shit. And, in, 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 uh, you know, that little bird. That thing's getting eaten right now in, in the Pokemon universe. You know that. Absolutely. Right? Think about how much meat the third evolution would produce. You level it up to eat it, just like we grow cattle it to eat It is the them. size of a human being. <laughs> Absolutely. Be you don't see regular animals in the show. Just saying. I think they had a cat once. Where they had a meowth? I don't, dude. I could have sworn I saw regular animals. I don't know. Maybe a dog. They have a guns in the in the in the show. So guns definitely exist. I don't know why you have like breathing fire breathing lizards. Who needs a gun? Well, in Japan, they had an episode where Team Rocket uh, James pulled a gun, and then in America they censored it. Yeah. Yeah, and they also had James uh, have tits. Remember oh, yeah, that? they cross-dressed him. Yep. Very progressive. I don't know why they, they're so, like, anti-that in America. You know how many cartoons you see with guns? Bugs Bunny has guns. Bugs Bunny was from a different time. Bugs Bunny was also a racist. How so? Uh, I think he's been in some racist cartoons. I, I makes sense. I just can't think of any examples. It's probably because they weren't aired. But or, it's an American cartoon. Oh yeah, it is. Yep, yep. They were all racist back then. It's all good. It happened. Betty Boop had a racist episode. You need... Daffy uh, Duck. What? No, Uncle High is supposed to take you. <sighs> He's already awake. Mm. All right, glad about him doing something. Get out of here, kid. <laughs> the grown ups are talking about video games. So, so, yes, so, it is. so I think what I'm most excited about this E3 is potentially hearing about the next generation of consoles. Yeah, there's been a lot of talk about the PS5. Ooh, that's the one I'm going to go for, depending. Man, at Microsoft. Microsoft might do this good time this 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 time around. I heard they're they're really looking at like their exclusive market because they have a lot of studios, they have a lot of IP. If they treat the IP correctly, they could potentially have something here. As of right now, I've never like yeah, Halo. Here's the thing, but they own a lot. You just don't know. They it. certainly do, but they don't They don't do anything because like they're stupid. Right, if if they would have dropped like a Banjo Kazooie or Conker's Bad Fur Day on us, 
Well, I guess you got to uh, buy an Xbox. Need a bad fur day. Right? Give me another bad fur day. Don't don't give me this fucking bullshit where it's like a skinny fucking bullshit con. Just give me just give me the exact same thing from before but prettier. That's it. Prettier oh, you want a remake? Uncensored. No, 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 no. I want a sequel. It deserves a sequel, right? But I don't want it to be um too different. I don't want the characters like, oh yeah, we we went with a real modern update of the character. Yeah, we slimmed them down because we figured uh, squirrels are kind of fucking, they're, they're kind of kooky, right? Squirrels are, uh, you know. They're going to take them and they're going to make them actual squirrel size. Yeah, like stupid weird shit like that. No, dude, just give me a nice render of, of Conquer, right? Give me a nice story. Have somebody write it, right? And don't hold back on the violence and the cussing, okay? Don't censor the game at all. If you censor the game. You're in it. It's done. You're a fucking moron, right? You want to sell to the kitties. You, 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 you launch a little banjo action. That's it. I would not argue that. I'd play a Banjo-Kazooie game. Fuck, you know what else would get the fucking kids going? <laughs> fucking Battletoads, bro. Give us some fucking Battletoads. Kids don't even know what that is, man. Fuck, it doesn't matter. The boomers know what it is. The boomer, you want to go for the millennials? They know the Battletoads. Fucking the Battletoads. Battletoads is a game nobody, nobody knew about. One of the biggest fucking memes... In the land. Why wouldn't you capitalize on it? You know? And then get a couple couple new IPs out there. Maybe go for that weird fucking one with the dragons that they canceled. You know what I'm talking about? Like, it's like a guy with a sword and a dragon. They canceled no. that shit because of whatever. Anyway, uh, Microsoft, they, they need to get their shit together if they want to uh, potentially I think run. they could put together a really nice console. I do. I think but they I've can. never had one where it was like, you know what, I want that over a PS. No, it's same here. They fucked up big with the Xbox One. That thing was hot garbage when they announced it. They're like, oh, it's always online and you can't buy used games. Fuck you. Yeah. Ooh. I'm buying a PlayStation 4. Hey, it uh, like I've heard, I don't know if it's true, but I've heard that uh, the PS5 is supposed to be completely reverse compatible all the way down to PS1. Oh my god. You know how much, like, Dick people are gonna suck for that. I mean, the, the retro market is huge. Oh yeah, it's retarded. It's and like, that would just fire up sales on old games. Yeah. Here's the other thing they need to do with with retro games. There needs to be GameStop has the potential to have a really good retro market, right? But they fuck up. Why? Why wouldn't you have the house of retro games in the store? You have to. People aren't going to pay that kind of money for like, oh, I sent you a disc in the mail. The disc's all scratched. People want to know what they buy. Especially you if know what? That kind of money. If the PS5 comes out to be completely reverse compatible, I fucking guarantee that they will start stocking some shelves with some retro stuff for PS. They, they, would, they, would, they would be a fool not to because they are struggling right now because they suck. I don't know. I don't know. It, it, anyhow, so yes, PS5. Five definitely on my radar. I'm definitely interested. I, yeah, I still want Animal Crossing. It's stupid. Enough. Give me. Animal I never Crossing. got into Animal Crossing. Oh, I love it so much. It's like I could be doing chores in my real life right now, but I'd rather do it in my little Animal Crossing thing. It's you know, like it, The Sims to me. It's The Sims with animals that talk. It's, but it's so much better than that. It's so much better. But what does it do? You can go fishing and. You can collect little butterflies. You can play little Nintendo games on it. You, you can, can play Nintendo games on your Nintendo games? Yes. It's a game within a game. Boo! And then, I don't, it's just, I don't know. There's just something, something about it that I just, I fucking love Animal Crossing, goddammit. I'm going to stream Animal Crossing on my channel when it comes out. So, yeah, if you like Animal Crossing and feeling good and fucking shit up, subscribe to the channel. You know what? They need to make a uh, MMO of Animal Crossing. Yes. They're just running around other people. That you way you can have an Animal Crossing society. Would Would I be able to become a uh, <laughs> an armed robber <laughs> at your people's houses? Sure. Why not? Give me Give me all your, Give me all your goddamn stuff. I'm not fucking playing around. Give me all your. Bugs. I want your butterflies. Give me your butterflies. Give me your fucking butterflies. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Shit, the gun went off. I didn't mean this shit to fuck gun. What the fuck, man? What and it turned man? into Animal Crossing GTA 5. Yeah. GTA Online. 
Yeah. Yeah. I love Animal Crossing. <laughs> oh, so, something about Nintendo. Nintendo just makes quality stuff, man. You know what they else? Do. Be, you know what else would be good from Nintendo? I need. I need a a real Paper Mario. Not this Another color Paper flash. Mario, good one. Bullshit. I need. I need a good Paper Mario. I'd, I would love to see that come from Nintendo. Uh, a lot of people are like, "Oh, remake Resident Evil Three, remake Resident Evil 3. I think it'd be cool. I think they have a lot of the assets possibly ready, but I think it might be a little too soon for for an announcement. I think uh, remake two was was definitely uh, definitely big. I'm not sure if they should uh, just jump right into uh, remake three. What do you think? Um, no, I think they need to let things settle for a little bit because when they do three, they need to do it really well. Right. Here's the thing about three. Three was um. Three was kind of a weird project because they, they did it really f fast after the second one. And it was sort of a... Not as big of a game, if that makes sense. But it was really good. It was real tight. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, the thing that's going to be weird about if they do remake 3 in the same style... How are they going to make Nemesis as threatening without gimping him if that makes sense because uh they made the tyrant pretty much unstoppable in this game he just chased you no matter what you could shoot him down for a little bit but then he comes back Bobby, at you yes Bobby, pause the recording for a minute copy that make a nemesis really that threatening uh, as as far as the whole thing that made nemesis cool is that you could kill him and he drops weapons and then you can pick them up and then kill him again uh and if they just make him like a bulletproof non-stop machine it sort of takes away an element of the original game that i uh, enjoyed what if they were to uh Instead of you being able to kill him early to get loose, what if uh, there were secret ways to remove him from the situation? I, I don't know. I just that felt, makes him drop I felt, weapons. I, I felt more skilled when I took him down with a handgun and a shotgun. You know. So. Well, I, I was thinking in terms of like final battle, they could just have you do a little shootout with him, and then do they do like hockey's, uh, quick quick commands. I don't for like, like really dramatic that. cutscenes. That's lame. No. Anyway, it's gonna be interesting to see what they do with it. He'd be able to demonstrate a lot of his powers without it just wiping you out. No, but I don't. I just don't. It's gonna be really weird. It's gonna be weird, and they're really gonna have to think about it. Uh, another remake that's coming out. Are you a fan of Final Fantasy VII, Andrew? Oh, um. Yes, yes, absolutely. I love all the Final Fantasies except oh, 2. Are you going to be uh, uh, excited for the remake of Seven? Yeah, I am. Where's Eight? Uh, I don't know. However, to happen. How, however, I'm not too excited for the remake of Seven. Well, it's supposed to be the same game, but better graphics. No, it's not. It's completely different. Because they got rid of the battle system, the original battle system, and the material system that made the game so much fun, they, even they if it had what? outdated graphics. Yeah, they got rid of that. Uh, there should be some material system in place, I assume. However, it's more like Kingdom Hearts gameplay and not turn-based. Uh, no, they, they need to stick with the original format, but they're man. Not, but they're not. And uh, here's the other thing. They want to release it episodically. So $60 for episode one, please. Nope. I won't get it. 
Yeah. I will just play my original copy. Yeah, that's that's um that's what I'm that's how I'm feeling. I just want do the original game the exact same way. Make it prettier. Maybe add a little bit more content, right? Nothing crazy. Redo the soundtrack. D don't do anything new to the soundtrack because the soundtrack for the game was perfect, just the way it is. Just I get it. Alone, right? If you wanna, if you wanna give a couple new tracks, fine, awesome, thank you, right? But you can't mess with the most memorable moments. No, you cannot. Those soundtracks make those moments. Yes, but they're not. They're 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 doing it uh, episodically, and they're also making it uh, the gameplay like Kingdom Hearts and. Uh, yeah, I won't buy it. Yeah, it's it's really disappointing. I just won't. Um, that's, that's kind of how, I, like, here's, that's how I kind of feel about Remake 2. Like, Remake 2 is a good game, but, like, I think I like the original better still. Like, uh, here's the thing, like, you have the original Resident Evil Remake, I meant original Resident Evil, and then the original Resident Evil Remake. I feel like the remake's superior because it's the same game, just prettier. Yeah, that's what they need to do. They need to just make it again. That's it. That's that's all you need to do. Like, give me Advent Children graphics. Yes, yes. And then just make the game. Yep. I. I mean, you could even add some content and make it like flashbacks, and I would still probably buy it. Right. Where it's just Cloud trapped, reliving his past or some shit in his mind. Fine. Right. I know that guy has memory problems. Let's do it. Right. Or you play Zach for a little bit. Yeah. That'd be cool. But, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how people react to it when it does come out. Uh, it's going to be interesting to have uh, more information on it as uh, well. So we'll see what happens. I know people are going to hate this because a lot of people hate this game. But I liked it, and I want another one. Um, I don't remember the subtitle for it. No. Uh -huh. But it was the Star Fox game where he landed on World. Oh, and that wasn't as... originally. That was not originally meant to be a Star Fox game. That was uh, called Dinosaur Planet originally, and it had its own original character. And Nintendo said, "Hmm, we already have a Fox character. Why don't we just use him?" And Rare was like, "Okay, no problem." And they just shoved Star Fox into it. But uh, yeah, it they, worked. That, that game was. I liked it, it. It was a good game, right? It just wasn't a. Star Fox game. If that makes it sense. was not a Star Fox game, but yeah, give me like Star Fox combat where I go between worlds and then let me get off my ship and fuck some shit up. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I, I I'd be down for that, especially after uh, the failure that was Star Fox Zero. Yeah, that didn't work out at all. No. How do you feel about the Wii U? Uh, I didn't even bother getting it. Oh, I didn't I, even want to get it. I had it. I actually really liked it. Like, it was a cool really? system and just had no games. I mean, the whole paddle concept was annoying to me because it's like, oh, you could... It's the Switch. It's Here's the thing. How do I put it? It just had a weird console charm to it. It had a weird gimmick that only worked for certain games. But it was like... It was a good gimmick. It was a good like gimmick. Like in that Mario, didn't you could make like on your con on your paddle, you can make like blocks for your characters to jump on. There was just here's 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 the good about it, right? Compared to the Switch, this is what I it had a Nintendo charm, HD graphics, right? And they had this thing, which is probably the best thing about the console. It's called the Miiverse. This is pretty much just like forums, right? So you could go buy like this shitty game and then bitch about it on these forums and then like troll people and shit. It was great. The 3DS has the Miiverse. Yeah, but I, not in HD. <laughs> oh, it's the HD. HD Miiverse. And then like one of my first videos I did on YouTube as a review was called The Letter. And I don't know. It's got a soft place in my heart. I no longer own my Wii U. I sold that shit. Because <laughs> I liked it. I, I it loved nice it, dude. And, and it. that Super Mario and I got 3D $30 World. dollars for it. That Super Mario 3D World was fucking awesome. Where you're the cats or whatever. That was actually a really good game. I, I wouldn't mind seeing a port of that. But I feel like something is honestly lacking in the Switch as far as its online capabilities. There's no charm, yeah. right? Where's the where's the Nintendo eShop fucking like 
little do 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 like there's nothing yeah, like that you know honestly, it's just Nintendo's all fucking never playing. really had that strong of an online presence yeah, but it's always just, been a couch game they just had a, a little there's charm to their consoles there there was a little bit i feel Childish. like their 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 e shops their e shops in the past were just better if uh, that makes sense uh, they had they had something to it that made it stand out whereas the the switch is just it is the most how do I put it? It is a very good console. That what that little thing can do is amazing, right? However, there's just something missing for about it for me that I don't know. It's just not. It's not the same. I still think it's missing games. I uh, it's definitely missing games, but the games they got are slam dunks. Oh, absolutely! Right, I'm not just, the, the third party, but it still doesn't right. have the variety that I want from Nintendo. Right. It would be nice to like, see... where's my Metroid? That's coming. Where is my canceled goddamn Metroid? That's I want coming. it. Give they it had, to me. They had to redo it. It's coming in like 2025. Well, then it better be fucking fantastic. Here's, here's what sucks about owning a Nintendo console. Nintendo console will never be my main console because it can't. No, it can't. It can't. Um, the games they do have, the exclusives are fantastic. However, the third party, it, it's just not there. It can't, it can't be, uh, just because the console's so limiting as far as power and everything. And some developers have done some amazing things like the Wolfenstein game. The port for that is, it's insane how they could, uh, they could put that on that console, but it's not going to be as good as if you're playing it on a PlayStation. Right. And it's not it doesn't necessarily have to be, but I'm not going to get as many third-party titles good third-party titles on this as those other systems. That makes That's sense. That's because the other systems make all the money. The third parties don't want to spend the money to right it, more to a more development like costs. I understand, but I'm just saying that's that's it would be interesting to see if Nintendo made a console that this competes. I'm not saying it doesn't compete. I'm just saying it would be interesting if Nintendo made a console that was on that same level as those other ones. How they would do. I honestly think they would blow them out in the water. If if Nintendo gave people, um, you know, that the powerhouse, right? They gave them uh, the, the Nintendo exclusives and a, and a good online functionality. I don't think uh, Sony or Microsoft would, would stand a chance. See... My main thing with that, making it, like, stopping it from being my main system is they don't have any games that's not like, all right, I could put this down for a while. Right. I'm sorry. They, they all their games are like that. I miss, I misspoke on that. Okay. It's, it's always like, okay, um, Mario, mm -hmm. fucking awesome game. Right. All of his, all their games are fucking phenomenal. But I could at any moment be like, all right, I'm done playing this. Yeah. Nothing really like sinks me in and like okay, where did five hours go? What the hell? Yeah, I I totally get that. I think those games are coming, and I think Nintendo right now has great party games. Yes. Right. It is it is super couch co op friendly. Yeah, and it's also portable. Right. That's another big draw. Of the That's Switch. another fun thing that about is that. The, I would say it's the the best portable. I mean, it's not like it doesn't it doesn't have competition. The competition is the mobile market, but the mobile market sucks. I mean, it it sucks for for a a gamer like me. I would never play something on mobile because I don't doesn't have buttons. I need buttons. Yeah, um, I like the tactile feel of pressing a button. Yeah, I can't. I can't. And get not into to mention, like, screen. okay, now I have my giant thumbs blocking my view of what I'm trying to do, right. and I also don't know if I'm doing anything. Right. So I can't. I can't get into that, and I think that's its only competition as far as the mobile market. Nothing touches it. No. In terms of mobility, portability, playability, quality. Yeah, it's just no, it doesn't. Right. And that's actually one of the things I like about the Switch is it's technically a console system that I can just take, take with me. Yeah, of course. It's it's versatile. It's a great little console. And like I said, there's some things I would 
I would have changed about it, but overall, I think Nintendo is heading in the right direction. I said it. I think it would be interesting to see if they actually uh, did play with the big boys. What would happen? You know what I mean? It doesn't have the funding. Nintendo. Nintendo has. Nintendo was dying. I I don't think Nintendo was ever dying. Because I, here's, I think here's the thing. No, no, no. If, if Nintendo, the Switch didn't work out, I think Nintendo no, no, would have sunk. No, I don't. I don't think so at all. Because Nintendo just had money sitting. That's the that's the thing. Like, yeah, they might have lost money, but they have so much money that I don't think it. I don't. I don't think it. Not that it wouldn't matter, right? Because any any failure is is still is still bad. But think about how much the Wii was the best selling console of all time. You know what I mean? That that money it had the motion sensitivity on that thing was revolutionary, and the other systems could not touch it. No, not at all. It just it the was, Kinect it, didn't it, have shit on the Wii. The PS Move did not have shit on the Wii. It, it had that. It just hit that uh, that casual market at the right time. That's what it did. But another problem I think they have is the fact that they don't have that third party presence. When you get a Nintendo, you know what you're looking for. Nintendo games. I'm waiting for the next Mario. I'm waiting for something Sonic involved. I'm waiting for Metroid. When you get a PlayStation or an Xbox, you go, I wonder what's next. Right. Sure, you have a couple games here and there that are like, man, I can't wait for the next rendition of this game. Yeah. But then Red Dead appears. Yeah. No doubt. God of War appears. Right. Death Stranding. I mean, that's what I'm. That's the, my next big game I'm getting. What was it? Uh, the guy that made Metal Gear. He's making another game called Death Stranding. I never even heard of that. Yeah. But yeah, that's a perfect example. It's just I have no idea what they're gonna give me, but I know it's gonna be fucking awesome. Right. Whereas with Nintendo, you know exactly what you're going to get. You have a pretty good idea of how it's going to play, and it's just going to be fun. Yeah, I, I can't I can't disagree with you. I, I'm just, they don't have that, wow, like, holy shit, that looks awesome. I don't know, Smash Brothers, man. That Ultimate trailer, that was like, yeah, awesome. I'm picking that fuck up. But, yeah, again, you knew it but was you coming. But you get your, your Nintendo system and go, okay, I have the Nintendo Where's my Smash Brothers? Right. Where's Smash Brother? Where Pokemon? Where Where's Mario? my Pokemon? Yeah, I hear you. I'll tell you right now. I got the Switch because I wanted the new Zelda. Right. I wanted the new Pokemon. I wanted the new Smash Brothers. Right. That is the reason why I bought that console. I bought the PS4 because I wanted whatever was next. I hear you. That sounds like a good fucking, a good ad campaign. Whatever's next. Whatever's next. Boom. We are. Whatever's next. Uh, so, so yeah, we kind of went on a tangent about Nintendo there. Yeah, um, we did. So, yeah, E3 should be pretty exciting. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what's new on the landscape. And I think the next generation of consoles is probably the, the biggest thing there, as well as the uh, next generation of computer tech should be rolling out, too. With these new generation consoles, of course, the the PCs are just gonna get even more like ridiculous. They uh, announced a Mac that can get up to twelve terabytes of RAM. Whew. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> twelve terabytes of RAM? I mean, like, you're probably talking about like a forty thousand dollar computer at that point. You know, um, I don't I don't even know what the fuck. They're, they're what gonna you're find doing a way with to that goddamn that more thing? Affordable. They can't just be like, hey, here's a car. Well, no, because the monitor alone on this thing, the monitor, right, is fucking six grand. That Who can afford that? That doesn't include the stand. The stand is an extra thousand dollars. Who can afford that? That's just per out of... Professionals? I mean, you're basically making an item for not the casual class out there no you're not you're you're making the macbook the mac pro where only pros can have it yes 12 terabytes of ram that's fucking insane yeah it is right like 
I like, mean, that bothers me, man. What are you, what are you gonna do with twelve fucking terabytes of? RAM? I have no idea, but I'd like to know I could. Holy shit! You know, I just would like to have that options. Like, oh, okay, yeah. I have twelve terabytes of RAM. What are you gonna do with that? Whatever the fuck I want. I'm gonna watch porn. All of it. All of it at once. I'm gonna have thirty thousand tiny captions all over my monitor i'm watching all of it yes yeah that'd be, that'd be fucking insane so you were talking about some like waifu shit waifu rangers or something what is this yeah fucking... i saw I'm, I'm always prowling on youtube and i just i saw something with power rangers i'm like okay that's old school let's see what that's about and then it linked me into this other thing where it was like there's three rangers i said two when i put three See, there's, I hit that finger from Either you guys. Way. Um, and the Red Ranger, I think it's like a spoof kind of deal. Right. I'm looking into it. Because you know how they do their poses and then fire would go off in the background? Mm. That would like surprise them. they turn around and be like, what the hell was that? But it's all in Japanese. Right. But uh, he pulls out an anime action figure. Right. That talks to him. Okay. And he says something to the effect of, like, waifu power or some nonsense. And then he transform? It turns into a Power Rangers-esque figure, which then jumps into his arms and then becomes, like, you know Power Rangers Mega Mode where they can transform into a higher version of their ranger self okay it turns into a version of that where she becomes part of his body armor and her head's up here and her arms going across his chest and his le her legs are like wrapped around his body and they fuse into him huh. then he pulls out another action figure okay that that he talks to and it turns into an anime character that then turns into a dagger and then he's got a gun, which has an anime character's face on the hilt, like the whole sculpted face. Does the gun have tits? No. Okay. And then he combines the dagger Wait, with the gun. Do you, th do you think it'd be better if the gun had tits? Obviously. Everything's better with those. All right. All right. Just had Why to, not? Just had to ask. The yellow ranger, there. it's one dude and two chicks. A blue ranger is the chick and a yellow ranger is a chick. Right. And whenever the Yellow Ranger, like, transforms, she goes off on a weird tangent about some crazy bullshit. Does the, does the Yellow Ranger have a, a waifu figure, too? Or I, I've it? only seen the Red Ranger have a waifu figure. I've only, I've only seen a couple clips of this. Okay, okay. I thought all of them had to have, like, a figurine in order to transform. I have no idea what they transform with. Oh, I thought like, they transformed I, I, with the figure. No, oh, okay. I have no idea. Okay, all right. I've just seen them in their ranger forms. It sounds pretty bizarre, but I kind of – I like the premise. I feel like, hey, if we market this to kids, that these action figures can can transform them into fucking Power Rangers, that's like double the money. Because but it, it, it's made with like – I want to say like a Power Rangers budget. Right. Like it's legit. No shit. Well made. Wow. It's not like some guy in his backyard doing something funny. It is a real-looking Power Ranger suit hmm. with real-looking explosions in the background, like really, really Power Ranger-y. Wow. I I'm telling you, these Power Ranger fans, they are committed. You know 